Hi there, my name is Javin Bernakovich. I'm here in Kenya with Michael Nichols of Seven Ravens Permaculture Academy. And we are just visiting the home of one of the teachers that worked with Michael last year and seeing what she did in just a single year and in some ways since August. Uh, we're going to take a look at around the farm and then we're going to meet them in what is a ginormous banana circle. Behind me what you're seeing is the end of her original crop of uh, sugarcane and maize and the reason this banana circle exists is all of this rainwater here coming off of this roof and then down here we have silt traps and then here is one of the largest banana circles I've seen to date. Here's the silt traps we're walking in and as we come in here we're gonna find Veronica and Michael Nichols. Hi you two. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, tell me a bit about how you two met. How did you meet? <laughs> well, I met Veronica at uh, Holera Primary School last year, and um, I asked her if uh, she would be willing to manage the tree nursery there. And um, then she was part of our uh, program last year there to, to do the school as well. Right, and Veronica, what was, what was your impression of what Michael was teaching at the school? Um, I, initially I met somebody called JB and uh, he taught me about permaculture shortly. I was impressed and uh, when Michael came in with his group uh, late last year, uh, we had started the project and uh, I was in charge of the nursery. It was beautiful, the work is nice, it has rejuvenated my strength of uh, working so I am doing it and uh, I have carried it back to my home. Just apart from school, I'm doing it in my home. You're doing it in your home. So what did your home look like before you started permaculture? Wow, it was a beautiful desert. <laughs> <laughs> it was a desert. There was nothing. I had Ken on the farm and uh, I think it was a deserted home. Actually, I was not I was not proud of it. But right now I come over the uh, to my home every weekend. I do a lot of work in the farm. I have a banana circle. I have a a number of swells, I've planted a number of things on the farm and I'm, I'm happy about permaculture. I just feel fabulous being associated with my <laughs> mm. And uh, another thing we did a lot last year is uh, that whole school, we completely structured that school into catching all the rainwater yeah. and doing lots of banana circles and lots of food production in that school. And it looks like you're doing the same thing here. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I believe I want to do better than them. Because you see, that is a community, but here I am an individual. And uh, now that I got it and uh, I thought it is nice to do permaculture, I want to do better than those schools. Because I, they are sharing a lot of ideas. I am not sharing my ideas. I'm putting them practically on the farm. I'll do better than them. And you're, you're wanting to do this at another school too, right? Yeah, I want to do it in, in a school around here. Uh, it's called Siangwe Primary. And uh, another school in Mumia is called Emanani. Uh, I have a number of schools, schools in Bungoma who want the idea, but unfortunately I'm still working in Mumias, so it's not very easy for me to manage the schools, uh, but I intend to, uh, to help them learn about the idea and then uh, spread it more and more in the schools in Bungoma. And why, why for you does permaculture get you excited and why do you see that people get excited around permaculture here? Yeah, I was excited by with permaculture because I was a lazy bone. I was mama's baby who could not touch anything dirty. My hands were to remain clean every other time. But I realized for me to be as big as I am, it is about eating well. And where do I get the food? Permaculture. So that is how I got it. And uh, that is why I, I really love permaculture. And for you, Michael, you saw this place last year. You brought a group of four students here and you did a quick walk around about three hours and you gave a plan to Veronica. Now, you've done this before. You've walked away from people and you said, ah, oh, this is a good idea. And what was your sense when you left? Did you have a sense that Veronica would do anything with the information? I did because uh, she, uh, she really proved herself in the tree nursery and um, helping with the project last year. She was very positive about it all the time. Um, and um, I thought uh, for sure that something would happen. But uh, to see it in this stage, I was very impressed, especially the uh, food forest. Because that's, I mean, it's only been 11 months since I left, and uh, the amount of work that you've done is just absolutely phenomenal. And especially, you know, you've really water harvested everywhere. 
and it's uh, it's exquisite. And the food forest is highly productive. You've had two crops out of there already. Yeah. And this whole other field you've already planted with trees and got some nice swales started there. And uh, it looks like you're going to get some major food production out of there as well. Yeah. yeah. And um, beautiful. I'm just, I'm so, so <laughs> impressed and proud of you. It's fantastic. Thank you, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Veronica. More people like Veronica. <laughs> Veronica needs to be a national leader. Wow. Yes. Because, you know, we, we have a lot of men in permaculture, and you will influence the women easier than the men will influence the women. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know how to crack the whip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks so much, you two. Veronica, if you could say anything to somebody who is interested in getting into permaculture, what would you tell them? Um, permaculture makes you to be young. So please, go for it. If you hear of permaculture, spell the word, write the word, practice doing it using your hands. I don't t send anybody to do it. I do it myself. Thank you. My name is Javankur Brnakovic. This is Being Fruitful and applying a heck of a lot of mulch. Thanks so much.